okay I'm <coughs> doing this vlog from the same place but different um what should I say different arrangement um and I thought I just I guess all I should do is devote this to who I think is going to win Dance for the Stars and sort of why of course we know we have the combat soldier and personal trainer slash motivational speaker Noah Galloway who is pretty much now the male equivalent of Amy Purdy because they're both double amp amputees and I tend to wonder whether or not Charlotte Bar Burgess has truly as much creativity as say as Derek Huff did in terms of make, trying to make his um, in terms of trying to make sure that he can still make up or compensate for what he is physically lacking <coughs> but anyway um, I also tend to wonder whether or not Robert Hershevac was dared by <laughs> Mark Cuban from Shark Tank um, let's see I'm kind of thrown by a loop that Riker Lynch was doing this because um, from what I had read online his brother, one of his brothers, Ross Lynch, was supposed to do it, but I guess, I guess from what I know, Ross was sort of like the bait, and Riker was the last, the surprise last minute switch, or the real Lynch brother that was going to rehearse, and maybe people, I don't know, maybe the press got them wrong, or got it wrong, you know. Anyway, um, Oh, I, don't, I just want to quickly point out. Okay, we still don't know who Wendy Carson's partner is. But obviously it's going to be a big man. And I pre made this prediction. Um, well, once I saw the list, who was there, who, you know, who was there versus who wasn't, based on, you know, like, certain gossip links or sites, I then realized, um, well... Okay, I mean, the only person that was on the, that was on that rumored short list of confirms versus far out of left field, uh, highly unlikely yet wildly, wildly insane rumors that would if they that um, <coughs> make the list, like, like for example, Jack Singleson. <laughs> I mean, I knew Rumor Will I knew Rumor Will Willis was going to perform, was going to dance because somebody already managed to leak photos of her rehearsing. Um, but for example, Jack Nicholson, you'd think, well, maybe he's doing this just so he can, so just so he can fall in love with his dancing partner and not be lonely. But you need to say he didn't make it again. And yet again, and, you know, Roseanne. Uh, apparently, Mike Malcolm Butler isn't there. I highly doubt that the, that uh, Whitney's partner is going to be Rob Gronkowski because I truly believe that uh, Whitney's partner will be Bachelor Chris Souls. And I say this because, yeah, he was on that list of supposed people, but I don't think ABC wants him to be, wants it to be publicly known until at least after the final rose ceremony or that final bachelor episode we found out who was engaged to and I <coughs> guess they didn't want it to be publicly known because then that might have endangered people knowing who he was engaged to and believe me I have no idea who's even left in the competition to win his heart I mean I wish him best of luck there are much worse ways to find true love than on television um, but, um, yeah, needless to say, I'm pretty sure it's Chris Souls. And I figured that, I just kind of figured this out in, in between the time that I read the list of people that were confirmed online. I talked to my mother at one point, then I called her back after thinking about it. And this is before Jimmy Kimmel himself said on Jimmy Kimmel Live that he knew who the <coughs> who Whitney is dancing with. And then, of course, shortly later in that episode, he's talking to Will Forte, who says he's in love with The Bachelor, and now pops Chris Souls, surprise him, and I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm surprised they didn't kiss each other. Okay, that would have been that would have been dreamy. But anyway, um, I kind of surprised that you know Melanie Griffith didn't make the list, or for whatever reason. I mean, I've been reading for, I don't know how many years now that she's always been she's always been trying to compete on that show since season one. But you know, maybe that's completely maybe that is itself a complete falsehood. Anyway, um, <coughs> I am quite imi quite amused at the fact that Willow Shields, you know, Primrose Everding from The Hunger Games is doing this because literally the show premiered the day she turned five years old. And, but, yeah, to see her compete is probably going to be a Completely mature, tastefully done uh, series of routines for her. I mean, she's in the hands of Mark Ballas. <coughs> anyway, um, I just pretty much know that maybe the biggest. Uh, hands down, the biggest challenge isn't going to be, it's not going to be saying Artem's last name. It's going to be saying the name of Charlotte McKinney's partner. <coughs> okay. Anyway, uh, let me, before I even start off who I think is going to win, I like to try and go on a great limb and say what, how I think it's going to begin and end. Um... Mm. Who do I think is going to come in last? Who do I think is going to be in there just, just for the humiliation? Like Jerry Springer and... <coughs> Billy D. Williams, and Cloris Leachman. Yeah, sadly that always tends to go to the oldest competitor, normally. Oh, God. Um, I know Suzanne Summers, she does have some dance experience during, and she had her shows in Vegas, and I don't know, in terms of Patti LaBelle, maybe I don't know how much dancing she did on Broadway with Fela, or Fila, but, um... <coughs> hmm. I don't even know if... gosh. I wonder if Charlotte has any... if Charlotte herself has any... dance experience. <coughs> okay. I'm going to start off with, I think the last place is going to go to Charlotte McKinney, then, um, Robert Hershevec will be second to last, Rumor Willis will be third to last. Fourth to last will be Red Foo. Fifth to last will be Patty LaBelle. Sixth to last, Chris Souls. Seventh to last, Suzanne Summers. Then Riker Lynch. Um. Uh, of course, we have to remember Billy Bob. Thor I'm sorry, um, Billy Ray Cyrus. He managed to get as far as he could by trying to support the troops. <coughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be saying that the final three is going to be. And I'm sorry, do I even mention Bristol Palin? No. 
Um, so I'm gonna s say um, third place will go to Noah Galloway, second place to N Nastia Lukin, and the winner will be Michael Sam. Yeah, that's so. In, in other words, if I if I can remember this fully, I'm I'm, I'm not even writing this down. But um, the winner will be Michael Sam, runner-up, Nastia Lukin. Third place goes to Noah Galloway. Fourth place will go to... Willow Shields. Yeah, fifth place, Riker Lynch. Sixth place, Suzanne Summers. Seventh place, Chris Souls. Eighth place, <coughs> um, Patty LaBelle. Ninth place, Red Food. Tenth place, Rumor Willis. 11th Robert Hershevac and the first to go will be Charlotte McKinney. I think that makes sense backwards and forwards. If, if, I, if I confused you, you can go ahead and post whatever you wish underneath me and compare and contrast. I mean I'd be surprised if I get it perfectly right either way, you know, from first to last or last to first, but anyway, you gotta remember, I'm just practically doing this on the top of my head. I, I do have, I mean, I have paper and pen near me, but I'm not writing anything, as you can see. I haven't, I haven't written anything ahead of time. Um, just taking the time to think about it ahead of, think it on, on my head. <coughs> okay. Um, because I didn't even really watch Good Morning America when the, when the competitors were announced, and I'm pretty sure that I on the big screen it said, "Oh, he's a cousin." You know, in terms of Riker Lynch, he's a cousin of <laughs> of Derek and Julianne Hoff, which kind of goes to show that that's as far as that's as probably as close as you can get to being related to them, one of the judges. <coughs> Uh, unless Julianne steps down or is exempt. Um, oh boy. Cha Cha in week one, my I can see. I wonder. I wonder what day Whitney's partner, which I believe is going to be Chris Souls, will be announced. I feel like it's going to be announced. I don't know. I I have a funny feeling that Chris Souls and whoever he picks are going to both be on Jimmy Kimmel Live and they'll announce it there that day, that night, later in the month. I mean, he's got to do it by March 16th, which is when the first live show airs. Um, I have no idea when the last episode of Bachelor airs, because I mean, if I did, I would have been way more prepared, you know, but I guess I want to to improve I don't really I don't I do my best to have my have my material for this vlog prepared at least mentally if I don't have it all down ahead of time you know. oh gosh I need to really really do something about I mean say what you want about my beard and this hair but I gotta do something about my unibrow <coughs> <coughs> 